Hi guys, welcome back to Deja Vu. We've got a educationary video today, sort of. Um, so we're currently gonna be going through all of the utensils that we use on a day-to-day -day basis at the bar to try and give you some insight that if you are gonna be taking on more or um, uh, dabbling more in mixology, then you can make these purchases at home for an investment. So we have a few different items we're gonna run through, but obviously you can see them all in front of me. Obviously the main one that we have that is currently like a no brainer is the cocktail shakers. So you've probably seen a load of different variations of cocktail shakers in multiple different bars, restaurants. Um, we use tin on tin Boston shakers. You've probably seen a lot of places will have the large metal tin, but also use a glass. Um, these are acceptable, these are, there's, these are fine, there's, there's no problems with them. However, when you're shaking cocktails for 10, 12 hours straight, and you're making hundreds throughout the day, the glass is quite heavy, so it can start to ache your arm. Perfect for at home if you're making a few for friends or for yourself in the evening, but tin on tin is better. It's lighter, quicker, easier to clean, and if you do drop it, it's not gonna break. So I definitely recommend using two stainless steel shakers. Um, they literally just clip on like so. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the idea would be to put it on at an angle. You've got quite a large opening here, and then it's obviously closed. And the idea is just smack it on so you don't lose any of the contents, liquid or the ice, it doesn't fling all over you. No one wants, no one wants to see that, let's be, let's be honest. Um, and then you just tap, and it comes, comes loose. It's literally as simple as that. It's, it's not difficult. Um, it's light, easy to wash as well. You can pop them in the dishwasher at home. You know, job done, easy. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is water form strainer. So another very important utensil in mixology. The idea of the Hawthorne strainer is it would sit on top of your shaker. It also fits on a small one, but obviously if you're making two cocktails um, in your in your shaker, it would only fit in, in, in the larger one when you, when you break it. So the idea is that you would, you would place it on top, hold it like so, and then literally just pour. And what this does is, I don't know if you can see the strainer part there, but this will literally just capture all of the large cubes of ice and any fruit, um, herbs, spices, anything else you put inside of your cocktail, it would just help capture all of that when you're going into the glass. So very important um, utensil. Next one we're going to talk about is a tea strainer. It's literally, a, 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 as its name suggests, a tea strainer. And the idea for that is if you're making some sort of martini, not necessarily an espresso martini, because that's quite foamy, but for example, a Cosmopolitan, perfect example. If you've got a Cosmo and you've got a strain in it, with just a Hawthorne strainer, you're gonna get loads of little shards of ice floating on your drink. No one, no one wants that. No one wants to be taking a sip of a refreshing, sophisticated cocktail to be, you know, have a mouthful of, of, of ice in there as well. So what the tea strainer will actually do is, is capture all of those little shards of ice when you're pouring the cocktail into the glass. Um, it, would just, it would just filter all the liquid through and you'll have all the debris, whatever is in there, you know, if you've got strawberry in there as well or some raspberries because you wanted to, you know, add, add, some, add some extra flavour to your cocktails, um, that will help capture everything. And it's a case of literally just once you're done, throwing it in the bin and just giving it a wash. Again, all dishwasher safe, um, really easy to clean. Because they're stainless steel, there's, you know, it's low maintenance, it's, 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 it's super easy to clean um, and great overall. Our next product, which a lot of people probably don't have, but we're gonna talk about anyway, is a mixing glass. So we've got a Japanese mixing glass. Um, and the idea for a mixing glass is again, as the name suggests, you are literally mixing your drinks. So we're gonna take our bar spoon. A bar spoon is normally a thin, longer spoon, obviously different to what you'd get in your kitchen if you were using a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Um, but the idea of it is it's for quick and easy mixing based on the size of it. So what you would do is you would put a Negroni or an old fashioned in your mixing glass or like a, a dry martini if you're using vodka and gin or a dirty martini if you love that. I, I love a dirty martini. Brilliant, vodka though. So you put everything in, all of your ice, and then you would literally just 
stuff. I don't know if you can see that. It's literally as simple as that. But because of the, the, the diameter of the spoon, um, the spoon's handle is really thin, it allows you to get a really, really, really nice um, spin on it. So you can go around a lot quicker, ultimately diluting your cocktail a lot more and allowing more, more water um, and um, to, to inflow into, into making your, your cocktail much um, cooler and, and diluted, which again, we talked about multiple times, dilution is key to a great cocktail. Dilution and um, a chilled cocktail, because no one wants a warm cocktail, it will ruin the experience. So a chilled cocktail is perfect. Um, all of these are quite accessible. You can probably buy a lot of them on Amazon. However, if you did want to shop a bit more local to wherever you are, you can ask around. Um, we get all of our stuff from suppliers. The shakers are the best ones I've ever used. Um, they're a bit they're a bit weathered and used, but I don't know if you can see that on there. But it's called Koriko, so it's a Japanese steel, which is another reason why it's so light. We get this from a place called Cocktail Kingdom, which is based in uh, America. They are expensive, but they're worth it. You can buy cheaper alternatives. I think most supermarkets probably have some, some form of shaker in there as well. It's up to you, whatever your budget is, whatever you want to invest into long-term, it, 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 it's, it's up to you. But I would definitely recommend going with a tin on tin for longevity and um, just for overall, you know, better quality. Um, Hawthorne strainer as well, the same. We get that from Cocktail Kingdom. Um, it's also branded by Carico, so, um, so keeping in, in line and theme with all the stuff we have. Um, it's, it's, it's great. You'll find, you'll find um, some of the cheaper stuff have like five prongs like that, so it'll like capture over it. Um, they'll do, um, but ultimately this, this hasn't got it. It's got a full um, strainer all the way around, well, halfway all the way around, but, but that'll capture everything going in there. So great overall. Um, same for the strainer. We get that from um, Cocktail Kingdom as well. The mixing glass and the spoon come from a place called Urban Bar. They're based in London. I can't fault them at all. They are absolutely phenomenal. We do get a lot of stuff for the restaurant from Urban Bar, so definitely go check them out. Um, I'll leave their link in the description below, so um, check them out, definitely. They've got shakers, glassware, um, everything you'll need really for, for a home bar. This is kind of, you know, generally, generally what you need to make decent cocktails at home. It's not that, it's not that costly, it's not, you don't need a huge select, selection of utensils, you just need the kind of basic stuff that would just, you know, suffice and keep you going for a long, long time. But I can't fault any of this equipment, you know, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I definitely, again, recommend the two the two stainless steel shakers. But yeah, other than that, there's obviously other things you can get. You can get like um, professional peelers, um, knives, all of that jazz, but we can go into that into, in, in another video if, if, if people are interested. If, you, if we have more of, I guess, um, intermediate um, slash um, experts who are watching it, I don't wanna say experts because they're probably better than me, but if we've got any people who are more veteran, I'd say, at making cocktails that wanna see more utensils being used on, the, on this channel, then that's definitely something we can look into. Um, so please leave a, leave a comment below on what, on what you'd like to see and if you've, if you've learned something in this video. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I wanna see, see what you guys come up with though. So tag me in all of your stuff. If you've got some new shakers or strainers, then definitely give us a, a comment or um, if you haven't followed us already on social media, uh, please do so. We share lots of different videos and clips and images of all of our cocktails that will be coming up later on in the channel. Um, you can find us at Deja Vu Hereford on um, social media, so Instagram and uh, Facebook. If you haven't watched any of our other videos, yep, I'll leave a few in the description as well. We've recently put up a video of our tiramisu, which is our most requested cocktail. It is beautiful. So definitely go check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I hope this was a bit insightful on what you kind of need for your home bar. Um, Till next time, thanks for watching.